The U.S. State Department estimates 27 million people are the victims of human trafficking worldwide. Many times the victims are hidden in plain sight, maybe even in your community. Would you recognize the signs or could you help a trafficking victim? We introduce you to a woman who shares her trafficking story in hopes of changing perceptions and saving lives. Jessica Kay is a human trafficking survivor. The shame, the stigma, the victim blaming is really detrimental. Jessica moved from a small town in Iowa to Las Vegas for a fresh start, but admits she wasn't ready for the pitfalls. I ended up losing my home and my car and my son had to go live with his father. And that's when I met my, my trafficker. He groomed me for a really long time. Um, I didn't know prostitution or trafficking was a thing, um, and I thought he was my boyfriend. The U.S. State Department describes human trafficking as a crime of exploitation. Victims can be anyone. A predator who has identified a potential victim who might be in need of, uh, of making some kind of uh, income, and they're lured into commercial sex. FBI Special Agent Melvin Gonzalez says victims are often deceived by false promises of love, a good job, or a stable life. Travel industry company BCD Travel says hotels and motels can be critical sites for the trafficking business. The trafficker and victim often check into a room together, sometimes in a remote area of the hotel. The victim is usually dressed inappropriately, no matter their age, and they're never left alone. If someone is not allowed to freely move from a specific job, if someone is observed working at the same location, long hours, extensive hours a week. Jessica says she would often work 10 hours a day on the Las Vegas Strip to meet her $2,500 quota until one night in 2007. That's when she was arrested for solicitation at a hotel and thrown in jail. Going to jail actually kind of set me free. I still was in this really vulnerable and unhealthy space. It took me probably five or six years to really understand that I was a victim. Polaris runs the U.S. National Human Trafficking Hotline, which helps to connect victims to support and services. The organization released a study in January of 2023 that found trafficking victims often struggle to make ends meet, earning less than $25,000 a year. One of the biggest findings that we really saw is that survivors are living on the economic margins. Polaris CEO Catherine Chin says that's because many victims have criminal records related to being trafficked, which makes it difficult for them to get jobs or find a place to live. The experts we spoke to say victims may also be in need of mental health assistance to help them deal with the emotional trauma of being trafficked. When you've experienced a trafficking situation, the need for recovery and, and opportunity to really address some of the, the more traumatic as aspects is a, a very important thing. As for Jessica, she's now a social worker and advocate for human trafficking victims, testifying before Nevada state lawmakers in February of 2023 in support of a bill to increase penalties for so-called Johns, or customers who pay for prostitutes. In that testimony, I really talked about how this is paid rape and it's not a choice. If you or someone you know is a victim, you can call the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 888-373-7888.